U.S. President Donald Trump and his team are in damage control mode. They are struggling to contain another self-inflicted political thunderstorm. The later crisis was triggered by Trump's remarks this week about Russia's alleged role in the 2016 U.S. election. Trump said during a press conference with his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin in Helsinki on Monday that he sees no reason why Russia would have interfered in the election. Critics of the administration believe, by saying that, Trump in fact sided with Russia and ignored his own top intelligence officials. Back home, Trump came under an onslaught of bipartisan criticism and sought to reverse his comments. I have full faith and support for America's great intelligence agencies, always had. We're doing everything in our power to prevent Russian interference in 2018. Trump now says he misspoke during the press conference with Putin, and it actually meant he saw no reason why it was not Russia that interfered. But was it really a mistake, or is Trump backpedaling out of fear for something else? He's backed down on it, and I think this is a result of intense, uh, well, concentrated uh, criticism and a very vocal one at him. Uh, and I think he, he's made a mistake in this regard because now he, he says, well, this is true. And so uh, th this does undermine his uh, reputation and credibility. Sources close to the U.S. administration say that Trump consulted lawmakers and outside confidants before saying that he had made a mistake. One major reason behind Trump's backpedaling was probably a fear of a wave of resignations in the U.S. intelligence community. Director of National Intelligence Dan Coats or others could have stepped down. They have long accused Russia of meddling in the U.S. And the last thing they want to see is the U.S. president dismissing their intelligence findings. The former CIA chief John Brennan called Trump's performance in Helsinki nothing short of treasonous. One can see, uh, for example, the heads of the CIA and top people in the CIA uh, who were actively working against uh, Trump being elected and uh, working against him after he was elected. So, yes, the, the, I mean, this, this, this is indicative uh, of a, I suppose you'd call it a war, uh, between the Trump administration uh, and the federal uh, bureaucracy. Some in Congress even demanded Trump's powers to be limited. But Trump remained defiant and did it again. Asked by a reporter on Wednesday whether Russians are still targeting America, Trump said no. Is Russia still targeting the U.S., Mr. President? Thank Press, you let's much, go. Trump. Make your way out. White House spokeswoman Sarah Sanders said Trump's no meant no more questions. I had a chance to speak with the president after uh, his comments, and the president was said thank you very much and was saying no to answering questions. Um, the president and his administration are working very hard to make sure that right, Russia is unable to meddle in our elections, as they have done in the past and as we have stated. Trump has been flip-flopping quite a lot these days. Later on Wednesday, he told CBS News that he would hold the Russian president responsible for interference. But you haven't condemned Putin specifically. Do you hold him personally responsible? Well, I would, because he's in charge of the country, just like I consider myself to be responsible for things that happen in this country. So Trump's relations with Russia have once again come under the microscope. The U.S. president and his inner circle have long been accused of secret dealings with the Russians, something both the White House and the Kremlin have denied. Relations with Russia have been a very big headache for the U.S. president since his first days in office. And it just keeps getting worse.